Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Neal's Lego Robotics. Today's video is going to be about the Lego Mindstorms EV3 Gyro Boy, what it can do, but more importantly, what do you do if it doesn't work? So stay with me. All right, the cool thing that I love about the Gyro Boy is it uses every single sensor, every single motor. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and tell you right now, if you're having issues with your Gyro Boy, let's first check out the cables, because that's usually where the problems will arise. So go ahead and check, if you go to port view, you can see where all of your cables are going to. So here we go. Number one should be your color sensor. Number two should be your gyro sensor. Number three should be your touch sensor. And number four should be your ultrasonic sensor. So if you're just being simple, usually the first problem is with your cables. You don't have them plugged in correctly. And then let's go to your motors. Uh, let's go to the easiest one. So the media motor is going to go right there into C. So that's, one, that's something you can check real easily. And the cool thing about um, both of his motors the easy thing about this is they're on the sides that they're on. So if we're looking at this motor right here on the, if I'm looking at him on the left, and then we go to the back here, it should go right there into A. And then if we go over here to the right motor, then it should be on this, that side of the brick, then it should be into D. So go ahead and check your cables if you're having issues. That's where I think maybe 75% of the problems come from. The next thing you're going to want to check is your gyro sensor. So um, it's really tough to see under here, so let me kind of go lower. If you can see the gyro sensor, let me try to zoom in here. You should be able to see the arrows of the gyro sensor facing us right here. I've had cases before where it was facing away and the gyro sensor, that the program won't work if it's facing the wrong way. If you check out the link in the description, I actually have a solution if your gyro sensor is the other way. A solution where you don't have to take the whole thing apart. You can actually fix it with a second gyro sensor if you have one. Okay, let's go to the next thing. Is if your gyro, gyro boy is not functioning or turning on and you've already checked your cables and everything's working perfectly, the next thing you're going to want to do is, let me go ahead and stop this guy. The next thing you're going to want to check in port view is to make sure that your gyro sensor um, is working properly. Now, what I usually tell my students to do is I tell them, make sure you turn your robot on when the robot is standing up like this. If you turn your robot on and he's like this, or if you're holding it, I think you guys know that the gyro sensor is very, a very fickle sensor. And if the robot is turned on and the gyro sensor is not facing the way it's supposed to be, it can throw off your program. So what I usually tell students to do is turn your robot off, put them on his stand, and then turn them back on again and restart the program. And then also a lot of you guys know that if you just unplug your gyro sensor and just do like a hard reset to it, that could fix your problem also. And then um, more of the uncommon things is make sure that the sensors are not facing towards the, the ground. We've had cases before where the gyro boy wouldn't do the complete program because the ultrasonic was facing the, the table and it basically wasn't allowing the program to run where you're, you're trying to figure out the colors. So let's go ahead and recap. Uh, if you have issues with your gyro boy, check the cables. Uh, try restarting the brick with the gyro boy standing up. Uh, do a hard reset on your gyro sensor. Just unplug it for maybe five seconds, plug it back in again. Make sure your sensors are facing up and not 
your, your ultrasonic sensor is not seeing anything else. And then hopefully it runs for you because it's a really great project. And let me go ahead and go through, if you're wondering what the colors do, uh, red always is stop. So if he is spinning or moving, red will get him to stop. Green is forward. Well, let's do that again. Let me hit red. Let's hit green. So there's the forward. And then we'll go ahead and stop him. And then the blue and the yellow basically get him to turn clockwise or counterclockwise. So blue is a clockwise spin. I'll let him do a full rotation. And let's go ahead and stop him. And yellow is a counterclockwise spin. So if you teach robotics and you have your students doing the gyro boy, I always have my students do some research on a Segway, and they're, they're blown out of the water to see how many similarities the Gyro Boy and the Segway have. Um, if you do your research, the Segway, they call their sensor a gyroscope, which my students kind of go, oh, that's, that's code for a gyro sensor. So they're really thrilled to know that, hey, we're using the same technology that a Segway would use. So anyway, guys, hopefully <clears throat> I was able to help you out with any issues you would have with your gyro boy. Maybe let me know in the comments section which was the fix for your gyro boy if you had issues with it. Other than that, enjoy this project. It's really cool. I am Mr. Hino from Mr. Zega Robotics. I am out. Say bye, gyro boy. <laughs>